another video. Oh my goodness, I know. I haven't, dude, I haven't made a video in forever. I have been hammered with homework. But how's it going, guys? Richard Unicorn Caller, as you already know, it is the birthday of Wizard 101. That's right, if you don't know, Wizard 101 is celebrating their 11 year anniversary with a bunch of goodies. Um, actually, today's goodie was actually a free Professor's Hoid pack, so if you want, go check them out on Twitter or Facebook, and the code will be there, or you can just look up on the screen, and that is the code that you can basically type in in order to get your free Professor's Hoid pack. Of course, everybody wants double pet XP, yada yada yada, but regardless of that, I have been having so much fun with Beast Moon Hunt. Oh my gracious, dude. My thing is literally, like, I just, it's almost filled up and there's four days left. So I think I need to just calm down a little bit. I'm also liking the Scroll of Fortune now that I'm actually on the third page, which I should have been on the third page last time. Uh, but my hope is that there's no level cap or, not a level cap, but a point cap. Um, if there is a point cap, uh, that would be, make me very sad. But hopefully I can just keep leveling this up all the way and possibly just get to the last tier, which is tier 10. And who knows, they might add some more tiers because tier 11 and tier 12 seem kind of empty, and including tier 10. So we have to wait and see what happens, but personally, I am excited. Okay, so let's get down to the juicy stuff. What's been happening? Well, like I said, the Beast Moon Hunt is available. So for those of you that don't know, you can go into the Beast Moon Hunt. It doesn't require membership. A lot of people have always asked me if it requires membership or, you know, if I have to buy crowns. No, this is entirely free for everyone. I've seen a lot of low levels, like level 16, and a lot of max level wizards, like level 100s. I've seen a lot of people go into the Beast Moon Hunt. So, like I said, this doesn't require any type of premium access. You know, you just try it out. You know, see how you... I don't know why my present box just now appeared. But, yeah, just check it out and see what you think of it. Personally, um, I love it. But, again, you have to really get adjusted to um, the game mode that it is. So, moving on from that, I have been AFK recently. AFK has been inactive, basically. I haven't uploaded anything because there's really nothing to upload as much. Like, I haven't really found anything content-worthy besides the crown shop. Uh, you know, the crown shop is always bustling with new items, as always. Today's featured is a birthday teleporter effect, which, I'm not gonna lie, looks pretty cool. You teleport into a birthday cake, and then, like, balloons will go out and sparkles. Um, I don't know. I'm not really sure how I feel about the animation of it. I think the whole birthday cake is kind of silly, but it is cute nonetheless. And it's the same price as the other ones. A lot of people thought it would cost more because it's a limited time type of exclusivity. Um, no, it costs the same, which is $5 worth of crowns. And as a gentle reminder for everyone, if you did want to get this teleporter effect, you would need to buy this on all of your characters. So if I bought it for Richard Unicorn Caller, I would have to do that for all the characters even if it's on the same account so again you would have to spend those teleporter effects on your individual wizards just to let everybody know um again you get the ravenwood piggle this is also another i i'm telling you there are so many i've seen so many piggles throughout the years like i've seen this type of pet so many years you got the grandpa piggle you got the regular piggle that is somewhere in here i've just seen so many of these little pig pets and it's so adorable this one is a 7,500 crowns. So yes, it is going to be expensive. Um, do you need it? Probably not. I mean, you get your little ground zone layer card, but you know, it's all up for debate. It's up to you to decide on what you want to do, but it has a cute little backpack in the back and it's it is so adorable, honestly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You also got the birthday balloon mount is coming back also. You can have that. The gobbler mount right here. And, you know, party corgi. So, they're basically bringing stuff, like, all the other stuff back. Um, in terms of new stuff, it just seems like they're kind of doing the same things from last year. A lot of people have been getting angry because, obviously, they want double pet XP and yada yada yada. Same thing. I was actually on Twitter for the majority of the time. By the way, make sure you go check out my Twitter and Discord. 
because I think I gotta refresh my Discord link, so I don't think the one in the description works. But yeah, feel free to follow me on Twitter, or just check me out on Twitter. You'll see that I usually spam a lot, or I'll usually tweet at a lot of people. It's actually quite funny, actually. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday was funny, and I wasn't even trying. But yesterday was just, I don't know, yesterday was really funny. Just check out the tweets. It's, it's, it's a whole railroad of just dysfunctionality, I think. I don't understand why everybody's at each other's throat. Like, I understand that this birthday is lame. I understand, but there's gotta be, I feel like, this barrier between constructive criticism, something that's actually constructive, instead of telling King Isol to shut up. Or just being outright negative with no, like, factual evidence of why you're being so negative. So, I've been, I wanted to block a lot of people, but instead of that, I decided to mute them. The reason I don't block anybody on my public account is because people will find out, be like, Oh my god, I'm blocked by this guy, and then they'll cry about it on Twitter, and then they'll form a posse. And then that posse is gonna come to my college campus and probably choke me out. So, yeah, basically, I don't want a bunch of wizards knocking on my door because, obviously, I don't got time for that. <laughs> I don't think anybody has time for that. But moving on from that, I have been a little active on Twitter, and I think it's funny, hilarious. I got some follows. Lots of follows from very nice people. So, yeah, Twitter has been a whole roller coaster, or just the community in general, I think, has been a big roller coaster because, like I said, a lot of people are saying that this is a terrible birthday. For me personally, I don't care. I don't have membership, so I don't benefit from the membership benefits anymore because obviously I don't have it. Um, I'm just paying with crowns, and I'm only buying areas that I know that I need. So, for example, I bought Mushu only in the Jade Palace because I needed to farm the Jade Oni for Exalted Duels. Um, again, I might get the Imperia and the Husk, but I don't really need Imperia. I don't really need to go back to Imperia. But again, you go into this lapse of things of should you get membership or should you get crowns. And I saw this one stupid comment. I saw this one stupid comment because they didn't get their double pet XP that day. And it said something about at this point the community should boycott the game. And I was just sitting there like, wait a second, didn't I do this before? And I was like, yeah, I, I did try to do this before. Obviously, you know, Nobody would boycott this game. I highly doubt there would be any resistance towards this game. A lot of people are saying that the player base is dwindling. The player base is dying. The game is dead. Well, a lot of people say that Fortnite is also dead. A lot of people say Apex Legends is dead, even though that game was a recent game. And I bet a lot of people will say that a lot of the upcoming games that are coming out next year are also going to be considered dead. So, you know, we kind of go on to this quote on what is actually actually considered actually dead to people besides just oh look at me i quit the game of overwatch that means it's officially dead first of all overwatch is not dead i still enjoy overwatch but for you maybe you might see it as quote unquote dead and the fact that you're acknowledging that the game is dead and you're probably still playing it behind your screen probably tells me that you don't actually think it's dead, you still play this game, and so for that fact, the whole dead situation kind of loses its meaning. I see a lot of people on Twitter say, this game is dying, and I'm just sitting there like, okay, then like, get off of Twitter, like what, like why do you care? Like why do you care so much if it's dying? You can just go. But, you know, regardless, I think everybody loves this game dearly. No matter how edgy they are, I think everybody's just an edgy teenager, if I'm being really honest. But no matter how edgy they may seem or how depressed their life is, I still think that they play Wizard of the One regardless because this is our childhood. This game is 11 years old, alright? It has been through a lot of ups. And, quite frankly, a humongous downside, alright? There have been a lot of downs that I don't like. I don't like the dance emotes. I don't like the teleporter effects. I don't like the reusable bundles. I've already ranted enough about Wizard of the One. That's why I'm a little bit happier and more energetic in this video. Because I've already ranted about that in my 11th 
11th anniversary video that I recently uploaded, I feel happy now. I pretty much got, like, everything I got out of my throat. You can disagree with the game, and you can disagree with people. Oh, that was a birthday effect. <laughs> you can disagree with people, which is fine. You, you can disagree with the game, but, you know, if you really don't like the game, then you should probably just delete the game off your computer and maybe delete your account if you truly are done with the game. Don't just say that it's dead and then continue to play it. I know I've said that a couple of times that I was going to quit Wizard 101, but honestly, nobody really truly quits the game. So, that's my two takes on everything. Do I think this birthday is the best? Probably not. I mean, I think it's a little underwhelming, but hey, I just got a free Professor's Ward pack, so I'm adding that to the list of all the items I get for free, all the goodies. I don't even know what happened to my present box. It just disappeared, and I'm scared. Oh my gosh. All my presents are gone. But let me know in the comments about what you guys think. I actually have to make this video very quick. I don't, I'm not really sure if I have time to edit because I do have to go to my next class at 1.30. Because, you know, I'm actually doing something. But, um, you know, let me know if you think Wizard 101 is truly dead. Let me know if you've quit or let me know what you guys think about this birthday. Obviously, a lot of people don't like this birthday. And, yeah, let me know. I, I also wanted to say something. Um, if you truly wanted to boycott the game, you would do something that I would do, and you would cancel your membership. I made that video a couple months ago of me canceling my Wizard 101 membership because I wasn't going to pay membership anymore for content that I wasn't going to be delivered. So, you know, if you truly want to boycott this game, then you shouldn't be making any crown purchases or, in fact, a membership because I see a lot of people waiting for double pet XP, and once double pet XP hits, they buy a membership or they still have an active membership. So, you know, if you truly, really want to boycott the game, you wouldn't get a membership, and primarily you wouldn't pay it for the game or give it the attention that they thrive off of. So, you know, double standard there, I don't know, just kind of think before you say something type of thing, but you know, I'm just waiting to be cancelled. Whatever, let me know in the comments below. My name is Richard the Unicorn Caller, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay positive, make somebody else's day happy, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Also, if you have a problem with me, I've opened up my DMs on Twitter, so if you actually have a problem with me, send me a direct message on Twitter, or if you really got a problem with me, send me an email. I also have an email that you can send me, so uh, yeah, if you really, really got a problem with me, feel free to slide into my direct messages. Alright, my name is Cesar RJ, see you guys later.